I can destroy your virus with the flick of a switch. Oh yeah? How? By raising the temperature in there to boiling point. Can she do that, Rip? I, I don't know. If she's... It's possible. Stay away from that switch. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the finale of Unforeseen Cliffhangers, apparently. I'm your host, the Birdman, known as Falcon. I know the last episode ended in quite probably the biggest cliffhanger thus far, but you gotta see it my way. I was done with the allotted time I usually go for. I don't know how long it was gonna go, and then I came to the decision, you know what, what if I made this like a TV show? You know, where you're suddenly about to find out who the main villain is, or something, and then suddenly it fades to black, and they're like, come back next week, and you're like, no! That's kind of what I was trying to elicit from you. And based on the comments that I read, I think it worked out pretty well. So anyway, um, final episode here today, let's get this over with. Senator Thurlow, if you don't mind. Although round here, folks call me Votary. You attacked Yelltown! I ran a field experiment. The aim was to test prototype treatments for VHOV. I admit there were... unforeseen incidents. Silverdale's attempt at sabotage forced us to start a little early. But it brought you here to me, so everything worked out peachy. Oh yeah, yeah, evil senator. It's always the evil senators. Uh, what do you want from me? I won't help you. Well, obviously I'm not helping you after what you've done, you vicious person, you. I won't help you. You won't have a choice, darling. What, what, are, you, what are you doing? Rupert tells me you're resistant to BHOV. That makes you very special indeed. I'm going to extract a teensy sample of your bone marrow and use it to produce a vaccine. That sounds painful. In med school, I always lost marks for bedside manner. Can you believe that? Now try to relax, because this is gonna hurt like hell. Yeah, I figured as much. Bone marrow stuff, hmm. Uh, what do you want the, or why do you want the vaccine, or why not just kill me? Well, apparently you're valuable to them, not letting you go. You're like, you're like Weapon X, you're like Logan. They'll never kill you, because they want you. Why do you want the vaccine? There'll be time for all that after I take the sample. Or maybe not. I don't really care. Hold still. No! Well, then again, they just want the, the sample. Ah! What a brave boy. Try not to bleed out now, you hear? Uh, <sighs> Harper! You found a Rupert. Good job. I see how it is, huh, McBride? All for a woman, huh? It's always because of the woman, you scumbag. Hello, old professor. Well, I'm more worried about Professor being a scumbag. Professor, how... <sighs> how could you? It's so nice that we're all getting to know each other at last, but I've got my vaccine and a plane to catch, so... <laughs> if you don't mind, just move out Kill the way. Kill the girl. Wait! Won't you at least tell us why you've done all this? <laughs> how charmingly gauche. Pendril, now you're supposed to say, you'll never get away with this. You will never. <laughs> Not a great line, Reading. If you want to know why, Rupert can tell you. You first told me the idea when we were students. I don't think I believed you could really do it until Yelltown. The plan was to conjure up the fear of a worldwide pandemic, then cure it. Play the hero. Sylvia becomes the head of the Global Health Initiative, with all the power that entails, and then... And then lather, rinse, repeat. A world without sickness is possible, and I can't let that happen. From the Big Grand Coulee Dam to the H-Bomb, we have put science to work for us. Why not disease, too? What about the innocent people who die? In Yelltown? Greystone? Set dressing. Wow. So you're like Umbrella. Their umbrella, that's who they are. You're a murderer, Thurlow, this is insane. Why are you helping your professor? Yeah, I want to know about that. I mean, apparently you're in love with her, I get that, but... You know, kill all that people for love, dog? For real? Why are you helping her, professor? Was this your plan all along? No, I swear it. 
It isn't easy to betray someone you love. I'm sorry. Sorry? Is that supposed to make... <laughs> Looks like the milk of human kindness has finally turned sour. You're a murderer? This is insane. You're a murderer, Thurlow. I'm a politician. That means making the hard choices. If a politician offers people hope, she'll only end up disappointing them. But if I give people something to fear, offer them safety, order, keep the good people healthy, the bad people sick, well then, folk will sell their own skins just to huddle under my wing. Swim is really mean. She's, she's really evil. I like that a bit. You know, mostly, like, you know, they give you, like, those black and white villains where it's kind of like, you know, in the middle you're going like, yeah, I can see what they're saying, maybe. You know, I kind of feel a little bit bad for them. This one was just straight up evil. That's good. Uh, this is insane, I've heard enough. I've heard enough. You and me both. I got what I came for. Rupert, sedate the boy. And shoot that snooping gutter rat. Wow. Oh, this again. Professor! Professor? McBride to Devlin. Halliwell is in incubation. You bastard! Keep her there. We have Pandora too. I'm on my way. Why did you have to come here? Wait, I'm a bit confused. Didn't you allegedly shoot me in the... containment room that we were at? How did she get free? Oh! Oh, this is... You know what this is because of the... I, I think I got it. This is kind of like a flashback. Because you see how there's that little ventilation thing on top of that person that we talked to as Pendril? So this is how he initially caught her. Got it. Okay. To rescue you! But that was before we knew you were two-timing us for some old flame. No, it's not as simple as that. It's exactly as simple as that. You're working for them. Damn and blast. I should have told Harper everything. Then tell me everything. Why are you doing this? Devlin will be here soon. Have you been brainwashed like the yellow suit guys? No. I thought I was protecting you and Harper by coming here without a fight. And then I saw her again, Sylvia Thurlow. She's the votary. As in Senator Sylvia Thurlow? Ms. Global Health Initiative? What a scoop. I mean, that's insane. I know. I know. How can you work for Thurlow after what she did to Yelltown? What she's done. It can't change the way I feel about her. It's in my bones. It's like falling back into an old habit. I didn't plan this, but I'm not strong enough to fight Sylvia. If I help her find a vaccine, at least there will be a vaccine. You've got to fight, Professor. Harper needs... Cornered her, Rupert. Good work. Is the boy with Sylvia? Aye, aye. She's prepping him for surgery. Come out, come out, Miss Hallowell. Okay, so I was right about the flashback thing, obviously. Um, we have choices now. Terminal, computer, bride, door, tanks. You could talk to Devlin as well, huh? Oh. Oh! Oh, nearly. Okay, um, apparently messing with the computer makes him shoot you. Okay, sorry. Devlin! I don't believe we've been properly introduced. Don't you shoot me. I recognized you from Harper's description of your eyebrows. <laughs> You're funny for someone who isn't holding a loaded firearm. Uh... I got something better than a gun. Why don't I believe you? I can destroy your virus with the flick of a switch. Oh yeah? How? By raising the temperature in there to boiling point. Can she do that, Rup? I, I don't know. If she's... It's possible. Stay away from that switch. Okay. I, I don't think that's how that was supposed to play out. 
I don't think um, Hello All died in my current future here. Um, okay, so we got a switch tank. So computer, how the hell do I make the tot? Can she I don't know. Christ. Lock him in, Professor. The panel now. Thank God. I don't think you need to get out of here. No. Devlin said Harper was with her. Take me to them. It's too dangerous. I can't believe you called Harper a coward. I hope you know what you're doing. I don't. I just have to follow this story to the end. Oh, she's got a recorder. Of course she does. She's a reporter. I've heard enough. You and me both. I got what I came for. Rupert, sedate the boy. And shoot that snooping gutter rat. No! Oh! It's okay, Harper. I'm okay. No! No, stay away from me! It's all right. We can trust him. But he... He helped me turn up the heat on the virus stock. We did it. Harper, I um, don't want to hear it. You just let her get away. Something's wrong. The boiler. The climate controls are malfunctioning. The superstructure may not be able to handle such a drastic change in... What's happening? We need to get out of here. <laughs> just gurney him away, that's great. Nobody will notice. Nope, oh, things are falling. Oh, things are falling. Okay, uh, what do we do? Door? Come on! We've got to get going! Well, I don't know what to do, man. Uh, did you? Oh, we're just supposed to walk him out, I see. Not the door. Just came in through the way we came out, I guess. Or go out the way we came in, that's what I meant. Alright, keep going. Professor, stop falling behind. And by all means, take your sweet time, guys. Just walk on over there. Entire evil facility breaking down around you. We can't get the gurney through there. Can you walk, Harper? No one leaves. Oh, no. Who? Oh. Hello, hello. You. Drop the gun, Devlin. It's finished. Aye, aye. Just need to tidy up. Yeah, homeboy is, um, I would say he's quite infected. Look, he looks like a zombie right now. Like, even the tire looks like a zombie. That's actually kind of cool. Give it up, Devlin. How did you escape? You make me want to puke. You actually do. You look very disgusting right now. How did you escape, you scumbag? How did you escape? Something about unquenchable human spirit. Rot in hell. No! Oh, no. Professor. Professor! <coughs> Professor, are, are you okay? N not great, actually. Don't worry, Professor. We'll get you out of here somehow. What a terrible mess. <coughs> I'm so sorry. Professor, I have to tell you. I forgive you. I mean, I'm real mad at you. You were an idiot, but I want to forgive you. Is it... Harper there? Yes. It's me, Professor. Oh, such a fine boy. You must bring your mother around to dinner sometime. I, I will, Professor. Professor? We made it. Everything's gonna be okay. LOL. You were right. This was a pretty dumb idea. Yeah, but it was the right thing to do. I guess. Come on, Harper. We gotta go home. How do we get down? And I thought he was bleeding out. Uh, that's it? It is with great relief that I can announce a breakthrough in the treatment of the Yelltown virus. 
Following a series of successful trials, a new vaccine will be made available in the affected areas. Our doctors will be able to save countless lives and in time arrest the spread of the disease. This is a testament to the tireless work of RHC and all our health professionals, but it is also a warning. We must establish a global health initiative to coordinate our response to emerging health threats like this. We must take action. We owe it to the people whose lives have been claimed in this tragedy. Senator Thurlow speaking at a press conference earlier this week. However, a covert recording purporting to be of the senator strikes a very different tone. A world without sickness is possible, and I can't let that happen. From the big grand coulee dam to the H-bomb, we have put science to work for us. Why not disease, too? What about the innocent people who die? In Yelltown? Greystone? Set dressing. The other voice you heard was Jane Hallowell, who posted the recording on the Port Nicola Times blog today. Hallowell's piece made a series of explosive allegations. Talk Radio. Where is she, Duke? Where is she? Well, Senator Thurlow has not issued a statement or appeared in public since the tape emerged. A spokesperson for the House Committee on Health Care condemned the- Oh my god! Can't you see how huge this is? This is so huge! How does it feel to be a national hero? Well, you're the national hero. I'm just some patient zero nobody's ever heard of. Then how does it feel to be in a national hero's apartment? Pretty amazing. I know, right? I can't believe we did it. I know, right? To think that a brilliant megalomaniac could be defeated by a brave but educationally subnormal handyman. Yeah, pretty scary, huh? What are you doing with your face? Um, just felt like kind of a kiss moment. Nope, different kind of moment. Okay, yes. Good. Is it kind of refreshing, in the least, to have, like, a game not end up in a romantic situation? Like, you know, you yeah, you go through it, you, every, every sort of game where you have, like, you know, two people, right? They're going through this entire thing, and because of the entire journey, they become closer and closer, and, you know, they fall in love. Apparently, not with this one here. I actually find it to be really refreshing. It's not like, you know, oh, yeah, here it comes, big kiss moment, and they're in love. What are you, a sourpuss, Falcon? I'm not a sourpuss, I'm just saying. You know, it's a bit refreshing. It's not so cliche. That being said, this is um it right there. I mean, I'm guessing Thurtle's gonna get what's coming to her. I imagine Big Eyebrow Man died because of the virus. Although they should have probably done a better job securing him after they hit him with that gurney. I'm just saying. The guy still had the gun around him. Anyway, um, that is some um, unforeseen incidents, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, entire series through. I'm actually really enjoying these adventure games on the channel a bit. You know, we just find it by chance. I mean, I did that scheming through the zombie apocalypse game. You guys seem to really enjoy that one. So, right now I'm thinking of doing another one. I'm just trying to figure out what should replace this. And in the comments, I've heard a lot of people suggesting to me, Night in the Woods and Deponia. I guess that's how you say that. Deponia? Deponia? Whatever. I've heard Night in the Woods and Deponia being mentioned a lot. So, if any of those games sound intriguing to you, or if you know about them, want to share your opinions on them, let me know in the comments and um, we'll probably check them out. At least do a one shot on each of them. And if you guys enjoy, we could probably go forward. Something like that. But if you have any opinion on those two games I just mentioned, let me know. I've heard a lot of people suggesting that. I know Night in the Woods was actually really big last year, whenever it came out. It's been on my to playlist forever, at least my own personal playlist. So maybe this might give me the actual incentive to find another play. We'll see. But, um... Hope you guys enjoy this unforeseen incidents from beginning to end, and um, I'll catch you guys next time.